Hi. Good Hi. morning. How are you? Good morning. I'm doing well. I'm, I'm glad. So, okay. I'm Dr. Ivy B and I'm going to be assisting you today. Okay. Can you go ahead and confirm your first and last name and your, and your date of birth, please? Lauren Smith. Okay. And March 12, 1998. March 12th, 1998? Yes. Okay. Okay, so what brings you in today, Lauren? I've been feeling really tired, exhausted all the time, a little more than usual. Okay. Is there anything going on in your life that might be causing you a lot more stress than usual or anything like that? Just work. Work? Yeah. Okay. How many hours a day would you say you sleep at night? I'd say seven to eight. Seven to eight. So you're getting pretty good hour um, of sleep. Do you wake up feeling rested or not really? Do you get tired as the day goes by or just tired since the morning when you wake up? Yeah, tired since the morning when I wake up. Okay. How's your diet? Are you eating a balanced diet, veggies, fruits? I try to. Definitely yeah. could eat some more. Okay. So we'll be checking for any signs of anemia or some nutrient deficiency. Okay. Do you exercise regularly? Uh, I go on walks and then I do some Pilates as well. Okay. How many times a week do you do Pilates? About two to three. Three. Since when did you start? Has it been like a few months? Has it been years? A couple of years. A couple yeah. of years. And when did you start feeling this tired? A couple months ago. A couple months. Are you staying well hydrated during the day? Mm, about one to two liters. Okay. Do you drink any alcohol? Sometimes. Sometimes. How many times a week? Like a drink or two? A drink or two, yeah. How's your sleep routine like? What time do you go to bed? What time do you wake up? Do you have a really hard time falling asleep? Yeah, I try to go to bed around 11, but I have a hard time falling asleep. Okay. And what time do you usually wake up? Usually wake up around 7. Okay. How long does it take you to fall asleep usually? Sometimes more than an hour, one to two hours. Okay. Do you usually bring your phone with you in the bedroom at yeah. night? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm guilty of doing that too sometimes. Okay. Well, I'll, I might confirm a few other things as we go. Uh, just a couple more questions. Do you take any medication regularly? No. No? Okay. Do you have any chronic illnesses that you know of? No, not that I know of. Okay. Any fam family history of diabetes, any thyroid problems, anything like that? Uh, thyroid problems. Thyroid. I said your mom's or your dad's side? Uh, it's my mom's side. Your mom's side. Okay, so we'll definitely be checking for that as well because that is known to cause severe fatigue if there's an imbalance. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take your vital signs. Okay, I'm going to be placing this on your arm. Okay, you can go ahead and relax. I'm going to be placing this on your finger. just going to start automatically.
Okay, this is going to go under the tongue. Go ahead and close. It's going to stay there for a couple seconds. Okay, okay. Okay, that's 97.3, which is normal. Blood pressure is 105 over 69, which that's very good. And your pulse is 79. So that's a tiny bit elevated for... And your pulse is 79 beats per minute. So that's a tiny bit elevated for resting position but still within the normal range so not very concerned okay I'm gonna go ahead and do a swab I want to rule out any viruses that cough could be causing you fatigue just gonna go the mouse okay we'll just be testing out for some Common viruses, do you ever feel shortness of breath, um, any sinus problems, breathing problems? No, no. No, nothing like that. Okay. Okay, I'm going to be doing a breathing test. So you're just going to blow on this side, you're going to put this on your mouth and blow for 10 seconds, two times. Was that one? Okay. One more. Okay. Thank you. Just going to give that a few minutes. I'm going to just be taking a look at your overall appearance, your skin, just making sure I don't notice any uh, vitamin deficiency signs or anemia. Just go ahead and relax for me. Notice a little bit of acne on your face. Do you struggle with that usually or is that recent? Ah, uh, that's recent. Okay. So that could be a sign of a hormonal imbalance, which we would want to reel out. I actually forgot to take this out, so I'm just going to slide it out. you say it was around the same time that you started feeling tired? Was it before or after? Yeah, around the same time. Okay. Okay, I'm taking a look at the skin on your arms and your hands. Just making sure that the nails look healthy. And turn your palm around. Palms are normal color and texture. I don't notice any inflammation temperature of the hands is normal no abrupt changes in temperature so that's great no white spots on the nail beds do you ever struggle with brittle Nails that they break a lot or not really? Not really. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, I'm gonna check the other side. Okay. 
Okay, again, the palm looks normal. Nails look healthy as well. Do you do gel manicures? Sometimes. Sometimes. Okay. Well, that looks okay. I'm going to be taking a look at your eyes. I'm going to have you look towards the front. I'm just taking a look at your pupils and I'm just making sure that they're round and reactive to light. That they dilate and constrict normally. Okay. They also seem to be consensual. Yes, very good. Okay, I'm going to be doing a vision test. I'm going to give you this nail and chart. You're going to hold it at arm's length. And with your other hand, you're going to cover your right eye. How does that look? Can you read all the rows? Does something look blurry to you? No, it looks good. Looks good. Can you go ahead and read this row for me? L, T, F, P, H. Okay, do you know what... What word is this? Glasses. Okay. This one? Check. Okay. This one? From. Okay, very good. Can you tell me what color it says? Green. Red. This one? Okay. What number is this one? Six. Is this, num is this circle bigger than this one? Yes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and switch sides. We're going to hold it with this hand. And does that look the same? Yeah, it looks okay. the same. You can go ahead and read this row for me, but starting on your right. J H D F C. Okay, now let's try this one over here. H P F T L. Okay, did that feel difficult? The bottom one the felt a little bit difficult. A little bit, okay. Can you Tell me what word is that one? Light. And this one right here? Angle. Okay. And the first one? Hold. Oh, okay. Very good. Can you tell me what number is this one? This one right here. Eight. Okay. Very good. Okay. So now we're going to be doing a color deficiency test. I want to make sure that you can distinguish different colors. Okay, so can you go ahead and tell me what number you see in here? 12. Okay. About here? 8. 29. Okay. 57. 5. I'm going to skip a couple. 45. 5. Okay. 73. That one's difficult to read. Okay. Anything here? No. 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 26. 42. 35. 96. Okay. Okay, so this is going to be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Do you see this X, these two X's mm -hmm. right here? Yes. Can you go ahead and trace with your finger, trying to get from one X to the other, following the line that looks a little bit different mm -hmm. color? Okay, now this one over here. Did that feel difficult at all? No, that was okay. Okay. Now let's try this one right here. Mm 
Okay, this one. I'll do this one on this side. Okay. Do you see any shape in between the lighter blue circle and the outer circle? Yes. What do you see? Like a flower. A flower. Okay. Okay, very good. It seems that your color vision is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm gonna be checking your red now. And your eyes. So I'm checking for any signs of anemia. I'm just also making sure that everything looks good. You can go ahead and look towards the wall. Square mm. looks of white. I don't see any scratches in the red now. Go ahead and look up for me. Down. Okay, go ahead and look down for me. Okay. There's no signs of anemia. I'm just gonna check the other side. Normal red looks healthy as so well. I'm gonna have you look up. Okay, go ahead and look down. Okay, very good. Okay, Lauren, I'm gonna be checking your Nose. Can I have you look up for me, please? Just checking. No any obstructions. Okay, it looks clear of any obstructions. Can you go ahead and cover one of your nostrils and breathe in? Okay, breathe out. Okay, perfect. Go ahead and switch sides. Okay, any difficulty breathing? No. Sounds clear. Okay, I'm going to give you a few different smells to try out and just let me know if you can recognize them. That one's a little difficult to recognize. Okay. Go ahead and smell this one. Loving. Okay. Lavender. Okay. I'm gonna be doing a taste test, okay? I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna put one of these little strips on your tongue. You can go ahead and close your mouth if you need to taste that. And just let me know, does it taste salty, sweet, uh, bitter maybe? Does it just not taste like anything? 
Uh, it doesn't taste like much, but it's a little better. A little better, okay. We're gonna be trying this one. Okay, same thing. It's a little sour. A little sour, okay. really good you actually got all of them right okay I'm gonna go ahead and look inside your mouth I'm looking for any mouth sores any mouth sores any um, lesions inflammation of the gums anything that could give us Any information about the overall health of your body? Can you go ahead and say, uh, uh? Okay. So the throat looks healthy. The tissue in the mouth is well hydrated, so no signs of dehydration or even anemia. I'm gonna be checking your ears now. Again, I'm gonna ask you to walk towards the wall. Taking a look here. Okay. There's actually a pretty good amount of wax build up in here. And I see some inflammation in the ear canal. Sympathetic membrane looks okay. So it's not really an infection. Okay. I'm getting a little bit of inflammation in the ear canal. Tympanic membrane is okay. Do you ever get any itchiness, maybe any um, high pitch noises or just hard or hearing loss or something like that? No, not really. No? Okay. So that's a good sign. I'm still going to go ahead and do a quick hearing test. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask you to close your eyes. I'm going to be making a little vibrating sound with the tuning fork. So, just let me know if you can hear this. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Can you hear it? Yeah. Which one sounded louder, the first one or the second one? The second one. Oh, okay. Can you go ahead and do the same thing? Can you hear that? Barely. Barely? Can you hear it now? Yeah. A little bit louder? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Can you hear this now? No. No. Okay. I'll try that one again. Do you hear that? No. Just gonna try it one more time. Can you hear it now? Not right now, but I heard it over here. Oh, okay, I see. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and make a, it's gonna sound like bubbles on, it could be right, left, or both at the same time, so just let me know where you hear it. Okay, you can just say right or left. 
left. Okay. Right. Left. Both. Okay. Now go ahead and tell me if this sounds like it comes from up or down. Do you hear um, it? I don't, I'm not sure. No. Up. Up. Okay. Does that sound like up or down? Down. Okay. I'll do the left or right again. Both. Okay. Right. Both. Okay. Right. Left. Okay. Left. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I'm gonna be making a sound with the glove, so you're just gonna hear like a rustling sound. And let me know if you can hear it again, left, right, or up or down. Okay. Left, right, up, down, down, up, left, right, left and right. Okay, very good. So it seems pretty normal. The only thing was that you could not really hear when I placed it on top of your mm -hmm. head. So would want to do a few more neurological tests just to make sure that there's nothing there. Okay. okay. Um, I, I'm also go ahead and check your eye reflexes before we move forward. So for that, I'm going to have you look at my fingers right here and you're going to follow them. I'm going to be moving them and just follow them with your eyes. Do not move your head. Okay. that feel difficult at all? No, that no. was okay. Okay. Now I'm going to do one more task. I'm going to be moving. So you're going to look straight up at my nose and I'm going to be moving either, either my left or right fingers mm -hmm. and just let me know if you see my right or left moving okay. in your peripheral vision. Okay. I see your right. Okay. My you, left. you can go by your okay. right and your left. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right. Both. Both. Left. Right. Right. Okay. Very good. That was perfect. Okay. Just gonna make a few notes. Eye reflexes look normal. We had the ears a little bit inflamed, but no signs of infection. A little bit of hearing loss with the tuning fork test. Taste and smell were normal. Okay, now I'm gonna have you do a few movements with your face, okay? I'm gonna ask you first to go ahead and puff your cheeks for me. And I'm gonna try to press on them, so just try to resist. Just checking for the muscle tone of your face, okay? Go ahead and raise your eyebrows for me. Is that as high you can go? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to try to push them down, so try to resist. Okay, that's really good. Uh, now go ahead and frown the eyebrows. Okay, so it seems like it's a little bit hard for you to move this part of your face. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to pull them up, so just try to resist. Oh, okay. Well, something's normal though, so that's okay. 
Now I'm gonna have you try to push my hand and move your face towards your left. Okay, now we'll do to the right. Okay, so I'm actually just gonna palpate a little bit, make sure that there's no muscle wasting. Is there any pain here? No. No. Notice any inflammation of the masseter muscle on your face, so that's good. I'm going to palpate the lymph nodes. Okay. Okay, seems normal for now. Okay, so now I'm going to be testing the facial sensations on your face, okay? I'm going to go ahead and ask you to close your eyes for me. And I'm going to be touching your face with this object is cold or my hands going to feel warm. So I just want you to say cold or warm, mm -hmm. okay? Okay, go ahead and close the eyes. Cold. 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 Warm. Warm. Cold. Cold. Warm. 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 Okay, seems that like your perception of temperature changes is normal. Now I'm going to try a couple different objects. One is going to feel sharp to you. I'll show you on your hand if you can extend it for me. So this is going to feel a little bit sharp. And this is going to feel dull. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go ahead and close your eyes. You can rest your hand. Did that feel sharp or dull? Sharp. Okay. Dull. 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 Sharp. Sharp, 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 dull, dull, sharp, sharp, um, I couldn't tell, dull, sharp, dull, 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 Perfect. Okay, now I'm gonna be touching your skin with these brushes. So I just want you to tell me if you feel it on the left or the right side mm -hmm. of your body. Okay. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Right, right, left, right, right, left. Okay, very good. So I'm going to be taking just a little bit closer look at the skin on your face, but I'm actually going to go ahead and ask you to lay down, okay? Okay, you can just go ahead and relax. Just taking a closer look at your skin. Have you started using any new skin products or something that could be causing your face to break out? No. Okay. There's a little bit of flanky skin. 
Alonka hairline. What do you usually use as skincare? I use a cleanser and then um, a serum and a moisturizer. Okay. There is quite a bit of flanking on your scalp. I'm just gonna be doing some this off to take a better look at it. Do you ever get itchy on your scalp? No, but it gets very dry in the winter months. Yeah. I definitely start seeing a lot of that dryness. I would definitely recommend doing a scalp hydrating treatment. Mm -hmm. I can recommend you a few products. That would be great, thank you. How often do you wash your hair? About every three days. A little bit of grass and tail. I'm gonna do a couple of sensation tests on your scalp. And so it's gonna be very similar to the ones we did on your face. And go ahead and tell me if this feels sharp. Yeah, sharp. Sharp. Does this feel sharp? No. Sharp. Sharp. 
You can say do when do. you feel this, okay? Do. Sharp. Now can you go ahead and tell me if this feels cold or warm? Cold. Okay. Cold. 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 Feel this? Mm, it feels normal. Okay. Cold. Cold. Okay. So that seems to be normal. Okay. I'm going to check your abdomen really quick and your Babinski reflex as well. Okay, Lauren, I'm going to be listening to your belly. Just going to slide this right here. You can go ahead and breathe normally. Sounds very normal. Do you ever get bloated after eating or any stomach issues at all? Sometimes bloating after a big meal. Okay. Have you, have you been able to identify like what types of meals make you feel like that? Like what type of food? Or it's just very random? Like salty fast food. Okay. So yeah, that's very normal. That's actually very harsh. Okay, everything feels normal. I don't really feel any hard areas. Okay. okay. Gonna be tapping lightly on your abdomen. I just wanna hear the sound of your belly. It gives me an idea of the size and health of your major organs. Sounds normal. I am going to listen to your heart. Okay, you can just go ahead and breathe normally. Okay, 
Everything sounds normal. The rhythm is normal. I don't hear any murmurs or any red pants, so that's great. I'm going to ask you to go ahead and take a deep breath for me. Okay, let's try that one more time. Okay, one more time. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to rotate that way a little bit. I'm just gonna place this on your back really quick. Go ahead and give me one more deep breath. Exhale. One more time. Exhale. Okay, that's great. You can go ahead and relax. Okay, now I'm just gonna check your Babinski reflex, okay? I'm gonna be checking your Babinski reflex. So I'm just gonna be stroking your the bottom of your foot with this sharp object and looking for a response. Okay, let's go ahead and check this side. Looks normal. I'm also going to check your pedal pulses. Okay, they feel very symmetrical. So just checking really quick for any signs of edema right here. Everything looks normal. Okay, very good. You can go ahead and sit back up on the bed for me. Okay, I'm just going to make a couple of notes on your chart for next time. So, a little bit of dry scalp. I'll give you a few recommendations for some treatments you can use. Abdomen look normal. No signs of edema. Heart and lungs were normal as well. Okay. Well, Lauren, I honestly cannot find, um, just from our examination today, any signs of why you might be so tired, but the next step would be to get some blood tests done. Mm -hmm. And we'll also be checking for your hormones, your thyroid, um, levels and just overall your nutrient to make sure you're not anemic or anything or lacking some other nutrient but um, I'll be able to give you a more precise um, diagnose once I get those results back okay? okay thank you so much Dr. Ivy do you have any questions for me right now no, no. I don't okay well it was very nice meeting you and as soon as I get those results I'll give you a call okay thank okay. you Bye.